the hell is wrong with you people? You know what she's going to say. It's one big lie on top of another. Asa, for heaven's sakes, give the woman a chance to speak. Oh, Renee, give her a chance. She's had plenty of chances. Ever since she and Cora were on Baddeley. She ever dare come up to and tell the truth? Hell no. But now that the horse is out of the barn, you people are ready to believe that she didn't leave the barn door open. Oh, uh, none of us know what to believe. That is the problem. Well, it really doesn't matter what we believe because this is all up to court, so let's just hear what Tina has to say. Yeah, be fair, Grandpa. Tina, no one here is judging you. <laughs> We are trying very hard not to. But, darling, you are not making it easy. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to be like this. I really didn't. Every time that you asked me if something was wrong and wanted to tell you so badly, I really did, but I didn't want to burden you. I didn't want to hurt you. And you had so much that was going on in your life. Don't you think that you're upsetting her right now? Not to mention the rest of the family? Clint, come on, you are wasting your breath here. This is Tina you're talking to. Someone who doesn't care about anybody but herself. That is not true. Oh, that is not true. I might have been like that before, but I'm not like that anymore. You no. know, I didn't tell her because I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to hurt you. And every time I turned around, I was making the wrong choice. And that was a great burden for you to bear alone. And now you don't have to bear it any longer. Like I told you, honey. The well, hold it right there, Renee. You told her? You knew and didn't tell me? Darling, she was terribly alone with this problem. When she confided in me, I thought that I owed her my loyalty and my silence. What the hell do you owe me? I'm only your husband. Asia, don't yell at her. Renee was begging me for months to tell For months? Yes, for months. I knew for a long time. But it wasn't up to me to divulge the secret. But quite frankly, I am now glad that it is out because oh, her great. story can now be told. And I want you all to know that I don't for a moment think that she meant to betray Cord. Oh, no, Renee. She never means this stuff. But it happened, didn't it? No, Cord, I didn't... Tina, come on. You slept with Johnny D. You're carrying his child. What do you want me to say about this, huh? Want me to just say, well, gee, Tina, I'm sorry. That kind of thing happens. I'll just forgive and forget it. No, I don't want you to forget about it. Cord, I can't. I never will. It was hell for me. It was hell for me. What? You're doing real good, Tina. Keep those tears flowing. Oh, they're not going to work. No, Tina, don't run away. Oh, that's the most go. sensible statement I heard today. And keep on going, Tina. That's enough, huh? More than enough. That's good enough to bother. Come on in, come on. <laughs> Our apples are soaked. <laughs> apples? What about us? Come on. Well, you uh, do resemble a wet poodle. Oh, a wet poodle, huh? Yes. Well, I look like a wet poodle. Then, then what? You look like a... Like a what? <coughs> like an achoo. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you get those clothes off. I'll get a few times. All right? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Clark, get those jeans off. Oh, what, what's the matter? Let me give, give me give me a hand. <laughs> oh no, both oh, of us. Come on, forget too. the zipper. Get, what? Get your shirt off. Come on, you got to oh, get undressed. Okay, if, uh, if you insist here. I insist here. Mm. Mm. Come here. Mm. 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 Down. We're gonna catch our death. Come on. Mm, but what a way to go, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come what? on, we're going to freeze what? to what? death. What? Fire. You want we, need, we need, we need what? fire. What? What? Fire. What do you want? Fire? <laughs> no. Well, we can okay. do about it. You're Go. probably right. You're probably right. Okay, where's the blanket? Okay. Wrap yourself in this blanket here. You got some wood over there. All I got to do is find a spark and we're set to go. Hey, I do make a pretty mean fire, if I do say so myself. Yes, you do, but I'm still cold. Come scout. Oh, yeah? Oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dan's got a cure for those chills. Come here. Let down. Am I a perfect scout or what? Yeah, you know how to light a spark. 
<laughs> you know what track mine going on here? As long as we're on the same track, I think we'll be okay. Oh, yeah, well, what do you think? <laughs> what? What's the matter? You know, we're just, uh, just, we're just dreaming, that's all, I mean. So? Dream is good for you. It's low in cholesterol, it's got less wear and tear than jogging. There's many benefits. I'm serious, though, I mean, no matter how much we fantasize about this, I'm still married to another man. No, you're married to a bully, that's what you're married to. <sighs> how about a killer? I'm married to a killer. I mean, he's vowed to hurt my family if I try and leave him. He'll kill you if he finds you. Uh, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Look, I gotta look, go Laura, back to Laura, town. Stop. Stop. I mean, I can't let you get involved Laura, anymore. I, Laura, I said stop, stop it. Greg Ellis is not going to hurt you or anyone else. I've seen to that. Divorce? What are you talking about? Did I forget to mention it? In addition to the extra security I got for your family, I also got in touch with an attorney, and he's ready to begin the divorce procedures whenever you're ready. Dan Wallach, are you out of your mind? Greg will never give me a divorce, okay? As soon as he finds out that I'm leaving him for you, you're going to be his next target. Look, take it easy. I spoke to Rafe Garrettson at police headquarters. He said the DA may be able to give us a restraining order to keep Greg away from us. Us? Mm-hmm. As soon as we get back to town, you're moving in with me. No, I don't think so. Wait a second. This you know, the first time around, we made pretty good roommates. I think it's going to be even better this time. Look, think rational, okay, Dan? Rational. Look, dinner for two every night. Candlelight, bottle of wine. You come home, you'll tell me about your day, I'll tell you about mine. Watch some TV, snuggle up with a book. And then when the fires die down in the fireplace, we'll crawl into bed and we'll snuggle up with each other. Now tell me, can you get used to that? No, no I could. And stop worrying about Greg. He belongs to the past, and in a few months will be just a memory. And then we're going to have to face a big time. What? Well, sooner or later you're going to have to introduce me to your father, right? I mean, how else can I tell him how much I love his daughter? Watch, guys, it's like this. Two heads back, okay? okay? Let's go. Tighten it up again. All right, you sir. Girls galore moving, groove to the tune, the tone, the rock shock. It home dancing is a form of movement prancing it's up for the improvement can't bet the crib cake funk in effect go with the flow and clock pick them spec bass in your face and the rhythm on hit beat the so dope the rhyme code legit a sort of sport import as your export a bold soldier holding down the fort so move super hype like a seizure on the clock doing work no leisure time but the rhyme is mostly soft steel on the deal it's cold time to get real serious about this beat grooving on the king of the tip boy let's keep Perfectionist. I thought it sounded cool, okay? You know what, man? You know what you guys' problem is? You. Nah, you guys settle too easily. You don't push the envelope, man. Are we trying to fly rocket to the moon or make music? Yo, if you ask me, Miles, it's neither one. I think somebody's trying to impress somebody. A female somebody. Hmm. Did you get that feeling to you, sir? Yeah, so what is that supposed to mean? This new song you've been working on, man. <clears throat> yeah, what about it? Lady Hot, Lady Cold? <laughs> no. Oh, so now you don't like the title. No, nah, no, nah, man. I mean, it's a chill title. It's a chill song, too. I... So was your other song, brother, about the other girl? Or maybe it was about the same girl. I mean, first you write about some sister who's stuck on herself. Then it's about a sister who blows hot and cold. Uh, 
I don't know, are you beginning to see a pattern here, Kerry? Because we certainly do. Oh, yes. We definitely do. All right, fellas. The fun is over, man. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing here? Hey, Kerry, don't let me interrupt. I won't. I've had it with you, Miss Rika Price. What do you want from me, blood? Sure, jump on old Asa. You always do. But honey, I'll tell you something. I can take it. You know why? I got a clear conscience. Get off your high horse, Pa. You got nothing to be proud of. You know, Pa, what happened today was a blow to everyone in his family, not just to Cord, all of us, to all of us. Clint, don't you think I know that? Cord, if I could change what happened today, but it's family, and family loyalty comes oh, first. Hey, sir, don't. Can't you see he's hurting? I'm just trying to help him, Vicky. Hey, Renee. Hi, darling. Uh, what's going on? Oh, uh, look, thank God you guys are here. Maybe you can help. Sure, help about what? Uh, hi, Clint. What, what the hell's happening? Uh, we've got a little bit of a problem. There's not going to be a wedding today. We've all had a bit of a shock. Some of us more than others. Where's Tina? Tina went to her room. She went to her room right after she admitted that Johnny D's accusation was true. What? Well, see, Pa came up with some evidence she couldn't deny it because she's pregnant. She's going to have Johnny's baby. This must be devastating for Tina. I'm going to go up and see if I can be of help to her. <laughs> Vicky, is that all right? Please, anything you can do, Gabrielle. Cord, buddy, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. What is there to say, Max? It's all right here in black and white, huh? Well, it can't be. I mean, have you talked to Tina? Have you heard her side? What am I going to say to her, huh? She had months to tell me what had happened on Batterley. She had months to tell me. She didn't. Asa was the one who had to tell me. So what am I going to do? Am I going to believe anything that she's got to say to me? Oh, Cord, please don't give up on Tina. Oh, damn it, Vicky, I'm not the one giving up on this. What have I got to do to make this relationship work? I mean, I can't be faithful for both of us, right? Maybe sometimes you can, Cord. Maybe oh, sometimes please. you have to bow, please. No. You're not the only one hurting right now. I just saw Tina. <laughs> Believe me, she hates, hates, she hates herself more than you could ever hate her. You know why? Yes, I know why. Because she got caught. No, that's the easy way out, Cord. Because she loves you. She loves you just like you love her. <laughs> Don't you think it's really worth uh, hearing her side of things? What have you got to lose? You're right about that. I've nothing to lose. Are you happy, Asa? Are you pleased with yourself for showing this false evidence to court in front of the whole family? Oh, please. Max, Max just you lay too. off. Just lay off. Pa thought he was doing the right thing. Yeah, but see, he always does, Clint. That's no excuse. Oh, fine. Blame it all on me. I'm the one that brings the truth to the light. You want to be mad at somebody? Be mad at this Johnny D. What makes you so sure this isn't a false record? And that Tina confessed under pressure? Unfortunately, darling, it's all true. Okay, let, let's just say, even if it is all true, uh, there's one thing I don't get here. How the hell did you get your hands on this confidential medical report? Give that back, that belongs to me. Why, so you can give it to your editor and um, make a few bucks at our expense? Look, Harry, it's not what you think. Yeah, you know what I think? I think that you're hard to please, Rika. You know what? I almost changed my mind about my first impression of you, but now I see that I was right about you the first time. You are nothing but a first-class jerk. Ouch! And so are your friends. Just, you're a good group, guys. You deserve each other. You are. <laughs> hey! Let's have it, sister. Where the hell is my wife? The vote is unanimous, Asa. Why don't you tell us your source for the medical file? I don't have to tell you all anything. It's private. Oh, private? You're the one that wanted to go public with all this information. Don't hide behind privacy now. No, I agree with you. Wait, wait a minute. You can hoot and holler all you want until the cows come home. 
I gave my word to protect my sauce. I'm not about to break it. Even for the sake of your own family? Don't tip me, Max. I... I'll tell you all something. The person who gave me the medical file cares more about my family than my own wife. Oh, Asa. I don't believe this. Tina is part of this family. She came to me for help. I gave her the best help I could. Why don't you understand that? Because you knew about the baby all along. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell God. You didn't tell any of us. Papa, pa, this whole story's got more size to it than the Pentagon. The more we know, the more understanding we all have to be. See, I understand. You know, you missed the point. Tina betrayed this family. To you, maybe. You know what I see? I see Cord and Tina. They're a couple in love. All right? And they've got a lot of problems to overcome right now. They sure as hell don't need all of us to tear them apart. When did you become so sentimental? Because I know the kind of love they have. That happens once in a lifetime. And it's much too precious to throw away just because you get angry. Thank you, Bo. Now maybe it's possible for me to tell everyone why I kept Tina's secret to myself. She had a very strong reason for sleeping with Johnny D. She did it out of love for Cord to save his life. Tina, I wish you'd confided in me earlier. I would have done everything in my power to help you. <sighs> Thank you, Gabrielle, for not judging me, but the one I should have told is Cord. I wanted to tell him, I really did. But it just seemed like ever since we got back from Baddeley, I never had the ability to tell him. Every time, I just couldn't find the words. I just... I know. I can understand how you must have felt. Cord is a man of honor. He puts trust and honor above everything else. Yeah. And I shattered that trust. I mean, it doesn't matter my reasons or how much I wanted to spare him. Oh, God, Gabrielle, did you see the look in his eyes, the pain in his eyes? I'm sorry to say that oh. it was unavoidable. He's never going to forgive me. He's never going to understand. <laughs> never is a very, very long time. Yeah. Right, so when we're old and gray, but not now, not when we have a chance to be happy, to, to have a marriage. Tina, listen I to don't... me. Listen. We have always been honest with each other. All right? Now... We both know that with Cord being as proud as he is, with his Buchanan pride, that this time around it may not be so easy for him to forgive. I know. I know. But you, do you know that it, perhaps you, you shouldn't actually be asking for forgiveness? I shouldn't. I... You only slept with Johnny once, right? And that was to save Cord's life. That's what you told me, isn't it? Uh, yes, but... Well, then why should you be defensive? Or even apologetic. You know, if you ask me, I think Cord ought to be grateful for your sacrifice, not angry with you. Grateful. Well, I see what you're saying, Gabriel. but... Gabrielle? Oh. Can I talk to Tina Lowe for a minute? Of course. Be strong. One Life to Live will return in a moment. How should I know where your wife is? Get out of my way. Not until you tell me where he has taken her. Who? Dr. Dan, that's who. Look, I know Laura tells you everything. Now, where did he take her? Hey, where man, did get he... Get your hands off of her. You stay out of this, sonny boy. Hey, you better watch who you call him boy. Not only is he ugly, he's dumb. It's three of us and one of him. Yeah, I like those odds myself, Ma. It's my business, not yours. You made it our business. Now leave her alone. Oh, yeah, you want to make something of it, pal? No, you can't. Come stop on, it. Man. Come on. You stop. There's no need to fight. I do not know where Laura is. Oh, baby, you can do much better than that. She answered your question. Yeah, with a lie. You think you can keep me from finding my wife and her boyfriend? Huh? I'm going to find them. And when I do, they're going to both be sorry. Permanently. Permanently. 
Okay, fellas, thanks for backing me up. Man. No problem, man. Let's go back to work, money. Yeah. All right. I'm the one who should thank you, Carrie. Don't forget it. The guy had no right leaning on you. It's not like you keep track of his friends. Or maybe you do. <laughs> you do know where she is, don't you? Yeah. With the doctor? Right, and I have to warn her about Greg. Well, the phone is over there. I don't have a phone number. The only way I can get in touch with her is going up to Lantano Mountain. Okay. Damn, my car's in the shop. By the time it's ready, it's gonna be too late. It's not a problem. We'll take my car. No, Carrie, hey, I can't ask hey, you fellas. to take me up there. It's way out of the way. You didn't. I volunteered. Hey, but fellas, something came up, okay? Um, it's an emergency. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, yeah, right, Kay, an emergency. Oh, we understand, amigo. No, man, for real, I'm serious. This... Uh-huh. Forget it, man. Come on, let's go. Look, your friend is in trouble, right? You want to help her or not? Gabrielle Haust, Tina. Oh, Vicky, I wish I could say she was fine, but I've never seen her look so down. Um, where's Court? He's with her right now. Oh, well, at least that's going in the right direction. Well, here's hoping they reach an understanding. Well, here's hoping she doesn't bat a baby blues and pull a fast one. Asa, that is enough! It would not be the first time. Oh, come on, Pa. Renee's already explained why Tina was forced to sleep with Johnny D. You fell for that stupid sob story? It was not a stupid sob story. It was the truth. Well, truth or not, I think Asa has a point. Why are you always taking his side? Darling, I'm simply showing everyone that I'm very surprised myself by Tina's behavior. I can't believe that she tried to pull this off on her fiancé, let alone her family. She treated you with, well, the word is contempt. Aren't you being a little harsh here? Tina's your friend, isn't she? Yes, she is, which makes it even more difficult to accept her behavior. No matter what Johnny did to her, she owed it to Cord, she owed it to all of you to tell you the truth about the baby. If I'm out of line, I'm sorry, but it's how I feel. Oh, please, you're not out of line, honey. You're the only one that makes sense. Renee's uh, five hanky tale of woe explaining why Tina had to sleep with Johnny doesn't explain her lying all those months, doesn't explain why anybody would lie. Lisa, how many times do I have to tell you it was Tina's secret to tell, not mine? You don't keep secrets from your husband. And look what happened. You've made it worse. Johnny, um, I, I think we should go. Uh, so that everything can settle. We can't do anything more for Tina and Cord right now. Please? Vicki, um, I don't know what to say. I I'm sorry all this has happened. I'm sure Cord and Tina will, will find a way to work this out. I hope so. Yeah, I do. Thank you, Max. Try not here. Thank you, darling. That goes for all of us. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Good night. This is such a shame, such an awful shame. And I think it could have been avoided. What are you talking about? If Tina had only confided in me, I, I think I could have helped her. So I was trying to keep him occupied. That's all I was doing. Because you were in his room, remember? You were searching for that remote so that you and Bo could find the, the, the drug lab, right? Yes. Go on. Well, I couldn't let Johnny walk in there and find you in his room. I, he would have killed you. So, so that's when I... That's when I let him think that I was interested, and I... We went to my room. And that's it, right? No, I didn't. It didn't even happen then. It, it, I tried to stall everything. I, I, I tried to... Uh, court. Johnny started to get mad at me, and, and he, he started to suspect that something was wrong, and he, he was going to go back to his room, and I couldn't let that happen, so that's when I... Oh, it was horrible. It was really horrible, Court. You don't know. I was... I had to shut my eyes the whole time because I couldn't... I had nightmares about it for weeks. Yeah, you couldn't sleep, you know, I remember that. Now I guess I know why, huh? I don't understand why you didn't tell me. Right then and there on Baddeley, why you didn't tell me what had happened? I was afraid to. 
afraid of what, Tina? Afraid of what I might say to you? No. I was afraid of what you might do, Cord. No. I know you. You would have gone after Johnny. Oh, yeah. You, 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 would have, you would have blown our cover on Batterley. Everybody would have been in jeopardy. I couldn't risk that. I couldn't risk you getting hurt. Well, maybe it wasn't your risk to take, Tina. Damn it, I had a right to know. I know. I know that. I, I know it now, but at the time, I just At the didn't... time what, Tina? What, at the time? At the time we were getting back together after our separation was ended, you didn't want to blow it? Maybe we were getting back together, so you didn't feel you needed to tell me. You didn't owe it to me to tell me what you had been doing with Johnny. Court, I mean, nothing was going on between us. It wasn't like... I mean, it only happened once. Oh. Well, once was enough, wasn't it? You don't understand, Court. I mean that I didn't love him, that I hated him. I was just afraid of him. I was afraid for your life. It was my life. You know, if I had had any kind of choice in this, believe me, I would have taken my chances on that island with Johnny D right then and there. As opposed to having you tear me to shreds like this right now. I'm sorry. Court, I don't know what else to say except that Everything that I did, I did it because I love you. I do love you. Please just forgive me. Is that supposed to be a good sign? Well, my car is temperamental. Ah. Have you know the information this car's been making that sound for about a month. I haven't had one single problem out of it. And I suppose that's nothing too. No, no, that's that's something. Something is wrong. Something is wrong, all right, Carrie, you're on E. Oh no, no. Uh, I forgot to fill the car, but I was in such a hurry to get up here to the mountain. Well, it's hard to see in this rain, but maybe we can make it to the nearest gas station. I doubt it. Well, ease up on the gas, Carrie. Put it in neutral, and let's try to coast. Rika, the last gas station we passed 20 miles back said, last gas before mountain. So don't tell me we're going to be stranded. Okay, I won't tell you. In front of the whole family. I mean, that's the part that kills me. Well, I think that you and I know how you feel about Asa. Let's not tell the whole neighborhood. It's, it's just, I don't know, so, so typical. You know, Asa's angry at Tina because she lied to Cord and the entire family. Why does that make him the bad one? You know who I would really like to get my hands on? Is that jerk who gave that confidential medical record to Asa. I don't know why he said it like that. I mean, whoever Ace's source is, I'm sure they were just doing it to help. You're kidding, right? I mean, if that was true, why didn't they give it to Cord? What was the point of giving it to Asa? Can't answer that one for you. I don't know. The only thing the jerk did was to cause misery between two people who love each other. Thanks. I really do think that you are so quick to judge Asa and everybody else, except Tina. She is the one who slept with Johnny. She is the one who's carrying his child, and she is the one who didn't tell Cord or the entire family. Do you condone everything that she's done? I'm in no position to condone or judge. And neither is Asa. Now, while we're on the subject here, I mean, why is it that you always have to stick up for that old goat? That old goat is your father. And as a matter of fact, this time around, I think he's right. He's trying to protect his family. Oh, please. There's that word again. Fam what word? Family. You know, I've had it up to here with, with what? Loyalty, blood, honor. All I care about right now is Cordentina. Well, I think you protest a little too much. What is that supposed to mean? Just this. Now that Cord is treating you more of a family member and you care for him. That means you also care for the rest of the Buchanans. Because whether you like it or not, 
You are part of the Buchanan family. You know, even if I could deal with the wise and how come you slept with Johnny D. I don't think I will ever understand why you didn't tell me for months that you were carrying his child. I wanted to tell you. Mm -hmm. There were so many times that I really wanted to... Yes. Yes, there were. So many times, Tina. No. Hey, right here in this bed. You know, I remember a lot of times when you could have told me. Times when we were talking about... about how great it was going to be that we were going to be having another child. About how great our future was going to be. There were a million times you could have told me, but you didn't. I couldn't. No. I didn't want to disappoint you. I knew how much that child meant to you. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, it's all my fault. No. I should have seen that. No, I'm not saying that. But, Cord, you said that it was it was a sign, that it was it was oh. a good sign, an omen that we were supposed to be together, yeah. that, that we were supposed to have a fresh start. I didn't want to tell you the truth because then I thought you'd lose faith in me. Oh, and this is how you decided to keep the faith, Tina, is that it? I wanted to be the kind of woman that you want me to be. I wanted to be mature and dependable and honest. Even if you had a lie to do it, right, Tina? Of course. No. I got afraid. Huh? I got afraid of losing you, and I... I did what I always do. I, um... I panicked. Yeah. And I, I wasn't the person that I want to be or the person that I, I know that you want me to be. I just reverted back to the old Tina. No. Cord, I'm sorry. I'm always going to be her. No. I'm never going to be as good God. as you. You don't... No! Damn it, Tina. Don't you dare play this off on some kind of a, a character flaw. You know, people decide what kind of character they want to be. Not by hoping or, or planning or praying that they're going to be something else. They just do it. It's their actions, Tina. That's what speaks. It's, it's what you do that makes you who you are. Well, then I guess I do wrong. I always do wrong. I feel sorry for yourself on oh. your own time, Tina. I just got one more question for you. If Asa hadn't come in, thank God for Asa and told us the truth. When would you have told me that you were carrying Johnny D's baby? Now the fog is rolling in. We're just gonna have to stay put. For how long? Until somebody comes to help us. On this road and in this weather, we're going to be sitting here all night. Well, Rika, we're just going to have to learn to get along, aren't we? I meant it without being sorry. Nicole? I'll survive. Well, it's just going to get colder before the night is out. Here, take my coat. No, I can't ask you to give me your coat. Okay, then we'll share it. Ridiculous. Well, scoot closer than we can. Get over here, please. Okay. See, that's the advantage of being in an old car. No bucket seat. Helps to generate body heat. I bet you tell that to all the girls. Only when I run out of gas. Carrie, if you did this deliberately... I didn't, I'm not that smart. I mean, I wouldn't have even if I wanted to. Why don't you just quit while you're ahead? What you got? Dinner. You better enjoy this. Because it looks like work is going to be a long, long night. you try to justify it. Tina went out and got herself pregnant by the man who tried to kill Vicky. Now, if that's not disloyalty, what the hell is? I have tried to explain why 
I, Tina, slept with Johnny D, but to no avail. So maybe this will impress you. She was painfully aware that she would destroy this family if she bore that child. So at one point, she decided to terminate the pregnancy. No. What do you mean she tried? Well, she made an appointment. She went to the clinic. But they wouldn't do the procedure because she had a fever. She intended to do it later. Meanwhile, Cord found out that she was pregnant and assumed that it was his child. She panicked at that point. She didn't feel that she could tell him. Yeah. Couldn't, honey, or wouldn't. Maybe she figured she could fool old Cord and the rest of us. Well, all I've got to say... You know, you've had your say, Pa, and much more, so why don't we just go on home? Let's get you home before you make things even worse. Home? What are, what are you talking about? Ace, I'll get your coat. Clint, this is your home. Good night, Asa. Good night, Paul. Come on, honey, let's go home. We'll talk about this tomorrow when things are quieter. Sweetheart, you are not to blame for any of this. I know that. It doesn't matter anyway who's to blame. It doesn't even matter anymore what we think of Johnny D. We have a very big problem. A child is going to be born into this family. And that child is going to be Carlo Hesser's grandchild. Maybe you should stop blaming me for a minute. I beg your pardon. Cord. Some people would say that I, I got myself into this situation to protect you, to, to save you and everybody else. I mean, doesn't that mean anything? Doesn't That's not really wrong. We're talking about after battery, Tina. We're talking about the months and months of deception when you could have told me. I know, and I didn't tell you. Do you know how hard that was for me? Do you know how hard that is carrying somebody else's child that you should despise? Somebody that's going to kill your Whoa, sister? Well, come out here, Tina. Maybe you don't Do you know understand. how I feel? Right now, I could care less how you feel. Oh. I just got one question for you, and I want an answer. When were you going to tell me that the baby wasn't mine? You're not even trying to understand. All you're concerned about is your own pain and your humiliation. You don't care anything about how I feel. Well, I guess that's my answer then. If Asa hadn't come in, I faced you down with the proof. You never would have told me that you were carrying Johnny D's child. Would you? Let me just explain, okay? Uh, please, let me... You've done it. No, Cord, please don't. Cord, don't leave me. Cord, don't... don't Cord! And Charles Gibson. A little lady now plays his leading lady, Morris Head Dance. Also Sylvester Stallone, Johnny Clegg, and a preview of our trip to Saudi Arabia on Good Morning America. Coming up, an angry Ned vows to tell Dawn the secret of Decker's disappearance. Stay tuned for General Hospital following an ABC News Brief next.